This video is sponsored by Brilliant. Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Sim and today we got a new expansion for our U console. This is the open interface. I hope I'm saying that right. Open interface KVM extension. That's what they call it. It's an expansion board for the U console, but the name is extension board. All right. So as you guys can see, we've got a HDMI, a full size USB and a type C, you know, working with servers. One of the simplest but most underrated tools is a KVM switch. It lets you control multiple servers from a single keyboard, monitor, and mouse, basically streamlining the whole process so you're not juggling a mess of cables and devices. It's a small thing that makes managing complex systems way more efficient. And honestly, that's kind of how I think about learning with today's sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant is a learning platform designed to make complex topics simple and interactive. Instead of just sitting through lectures, you're actively solving problems, working through puzzles, and exploring ideas step by step. They've got an incredible range of topics too. Everything from the math behind computer science and algorithms to circuits, logic, and even networking. Recently, I've been using Brilliant to deepen my understanding of how servers and networks really work, how information flows, and where bottlenecks happen and how different systems communicate. And just like a KVM makes server management smoother, Brilliant makes learning way more approachable and effective. If you want to sharpen your problem solving skills and really get confident with this stuff, learn for free at brilliant.org slash symbiote. Scan the QR code on screen or click the link in the description. Brilliant also gives my viewers 20% off an annual premium subscription, which gives you unlimited daily access to everything on Brilliant. If you don't know what a KVM is, it's basically a device that you can connect to other computers and control them. That's as pretty simple as you could put it. Um, now, why would you want something like this in your U console, right? If you're someone like me who works in the IT field and you're running around server rooms and you got to connect to a computer quickly, you can take out your U console, plug it into this. You can connect to a computer, make any changes on the fly. And that is a huge deal for me. Um, so when I got this a while back, I was pretty excited to take a look at it. Unfortunately, I don't have the video of my initial unboxing. This is a pre-production model. I think it has been released as of filming this, but I wanted to come back and take a look at this because Rex, if you, if you have a U console, you probably know who Rex is. He is the guy who created the Linux distribution that we all love and use on the U console. He has added this to the kernel of his operating system. What does that mean? When I initially got this, it didn't really work out of the box with Rex's version of Linux. I tried to install it using Flatpak, which was their, you know, what they recommended and it did not work, but there have been a lot of improvements since then. Rex has released it under his kernel, as I said, and he's also integrated it in a way where you can just one liner it. You can say, I think it's install open, open interface and that's it. And it just works. And it's not a flat pack, which is great. A lot of people don't like flat packs. It's just a Debian package. So that is awesome to see. I did try it out before filming this and it did work. So, I'm pretty excited to do this video. Now, if you guys wanted to know some specs, uh, I can quote exactly what they have on their website. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> their website doesn't have very specific uh, info. It just says direct HDMI plus USB HID, which, you know, if you, you know what a KVM is, you plug in this a USB to your device, you can control it, and then you get the video through the HDMI, you know. The specs that I would highlight are the 1080p in video you can get out of this, you know, the controllable USB port, and then you get an auxiliary USB. So if you wanted to plug in a flash drive to this, I believe that's what the full size. Yeah, if you got that full size, you can plug in a, a device, maybe transfer to your your uh, device that you're controlling, transfer some files, things like that. And yeah, it's a pretty simplistic device when you think about it, but there's a lot that goes into this, like the software, there's a lot that's going on there. Um, so let's pop this into the U console, start up, a, you know, start up the program and see how everything works. All right, everyone, I've got it installed into my U console. 
as you can see there. I don't have a cover because this was pre-production. When you order yours from Open Surface, it should include a cover. It also should include cables. I didn't get any of that. Again, this is pre-production, so please bear with me on that. All right, guys. So I have the U console with the exp the KVM expansion board connected to this Intel compute stick. I'm really sorry if it's loud. It is, it's dying right now. This thing is so slow, but it's the closest thing I had to test. Um, a lot of my computers don't have Windows. Well, a lot of my computers are out of reach besides mini or chair computers right now. But uh, if I can get a little closer to the camera and I'll show you guys what I'm doing here. Focus, I think. Uh, I have control here. I have a Firefox window open. I've got Google loaded. It took so long to, <laughs> to even load that. <laughs> but uh, there we go. We got Joey Tribbiani from the... I'm feeling lucky search on uh, Google. Uh, when everything works, it works well, right? Like if you're using a Windows machine, I've noticed like it's perfect. I did, however, try this with a Mac mini and I had a bunch of issues. I don't know if that's because the machine, the Mac mini that I was trying to use had a open core in install of Mac OS. It could have just been that. Uh, but out of all the machines I've tested with this, Windows seems to be the best. Um, Windows servers, obviously, but I haven't tried it on any Linux-based devices. I do have like a bunch of computers that are running Linux right now. I could try them on, but I haven't done that. So far, so good. I did change the screen resolution on this mini PC here to be 720p just because it was in 1080p everything looked so tiny on the screen so i i'd say just 720p it you can also do full screen not screensaver what am i doing um where's it this one yeah so you can full screen it kind of it's not really full screen but it works and you can back out if you want the speed is pretty good honestly that's pretty decent the machine that I'm using is just really slow. So if I open like control panel here, you'll see it takes quite a while <laughs> to bring that up. Uh, but yeah, everything works as intended. Um, you might have a few hiccups when you install Rex's package initially. I suggest just rebooting uh, and trying again. I have tried to hot swap devices. They did pretty much work, but the mouse and keyboard functionality was iffy when hot swapping. I don't know if that's because again of that Mac mini device, it was very buggy. Um, but so far so good with windows. So it gets a check mark from me. I'm going to say, I'm going to call it there. That was the KVM expansion card for the U console made by Open Interface. If you're interested in this product, you can check it out. Links will be in the description below. Don't forget, guys, if you made it to the end of the video, we do have a Discord group. I'm going to try to start having conversations there with you people. Maybe have some ideas for videos and show off your projects and stuff like that. Just share ideas. The link will be in the description. Thanks for watching.